Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los, and we are inside the Death God's Vault. We're in some sort of prison, so let's go into the back here, and we'll continue on this way. Oh, and looks like we got a Death Lord. As easy as dreaming. So, we're going to have Gan summon an Elemental Swarm. And then we'll have Sophia do a Mordenkainen sword there. Enemies have fallen upon us. And we'll have... You know what? We'll just have Kaelin attack. And we'll have the captain attack. Oh, and off camera, I rested up. I was attacked once by some more death wards. And then I defeated them and then was able to rest and rebuff that... All happened off camera. Shall we indulge ourselves? So let's tell the Corpse elemental swarm to attack. And we'll surround one of these guys because there's actually three of these death lords. And then once one of them gets down to almost dead, near death, then we'll have the captain do a eternal rest on him. That way we can get another brilliant spirit essence. I wonder why he's not doing anything. Oh, he's, he must be casting a spell. See, that's the problem if you're good aligned down here. These guys will do smite good on you. They're like black guards. We'll have Kaylin do a sacred purification. Heal some hit points and deal some damage to these guys. Oh, okay, this guy is near death, so... Now would be a good time to do an eternal rest. And we'll pull the rest of the party members away and attack these other guys. And in case you didn't notice, I turned party AI mode off because these guys otherwise will cast their most powerful spells even though you have them on scaled casting. Because they consider these guys a very difficult challenge, so they cast their best spells on them. Even though I only consider these guys a moderate challenge. Not like the vampires of the last episode. Alright, I guess we'll have Sophia do disintegrate on these guys. Just to get their hit points down enough. It looks like that didn't really do very much. How about on this guy? Let's try it again. What's up with the captain? Why is he not getting up? Uh, you know what? Let's heal Kaylin. She took a lot of damage. Oh, looks like the captain's gonna need healing now. Taking a whole lot of damage. Alright. Now he's back up to full. Let's let's take these guys out now. Stop messing around. See, that's the thing about the elemental swarm. I think when one dies, another appears in its place. All right, we're gonna turn party AI on because I don't really want to micromanage my party. All right, now one's near death. Unfortunately, the captain still has five minutes left. Nice cooldown period. Oh, are you kidding me? You summoned a stupid horn devil for these guys? Yes. Oh, okay, Lynn, I'm disappointed. Alright, well, let's pick up all these treasure bags full of these essences. We'll have Sophia do that. And then we'll see what these Death Knights were guarding. Looks like a platform full of skeletons, and they all have a considerable amount of gold on them. So let's take it. I wonder what they were doing here. Alright, let's just grab the rest of this gold, and then I guess we'll just leave, because it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Alright, that should be about it. I guess we'll go back by way of the prison. 
Now, I think that I didn't go into one of these cells to loot the contents, so we're going to go in here and grab this. A little over 600 gold and plus 5 padded armor. So let's open up the Greater Magic Bag and we'll throw some of these armors that we collected inside. Throw that in there. Throw this cloak. No, we want to give that to Sophia. All these essences. And then... What do these wondrous gloves do? Oh, they're only for bards? Well, we don't have a bard, so they're going to be sold right away. As soon as we get to a shopkeeper. Let's see. I think it might be a while before we can cast that, so we'll throw that into the bag. Throw Remembrance in there. And that should be pretty much it. And now let's go to that other door that was trapped that we sprung. We didn't disable it. It shot acid all over the captain. And now we got two more doors here. So we're going to go into search mode. And that one is trapped. So let's examine this trap. And it's an epic frost trap. And we couldn't even examine it because its DC was so high. So we're gonna... And we failed, but we didn't take any damage because the captain, I think, absorbs all that cold damage. And Sophia summon a Morinkainen sword because she senses there's enemies nearby. And yes, Sophia, yes. you're correct. I believe so. Looks like everybody's casting something. Open lock failure. Why don't you move out of the way, Sophia, so the captain can actually open the stupid door. Another open lock failure because he rolled a 1. No, we need to roll at least an 11. Okay, this time he took 20. Alright. Yes. Let's summon another horn devil because that one just disappeared. And we got two more vampire agents in this room, and it looks like one hoary mummified priest. And it looks like they're casting an unknown spell. So let's come out here and take out this guy. For the crusade. Tell the For the Crusade. Horn Devil to attack. Sophia, tell the magic will erase this. Morning kind of sword to attack, and then Captain will attack and what do you do? Oh you use the vampiric feast and it actually works against vampires. And he couldn't save against them, so it killed him. You know what, you guys? I kind of want to devour the spirit of one of these vampires, so don't go all out against them, please. Oh, well, I guess it's, it doesn't help to just say it. You gotta have to, like, take them all off their AI. I could do that. Kind of put them in puppet mode. Actually, I think she killed both of the vampires with that. We want to turn off disarm traps because I don't know why, but it always turns it back on when you reload the game. Oh, and we got a shadow of the void here, huh? Because somebody set off an explosion. Who's doing explosions? Is that Gan? Can you, like, shoot fireballs since when? Alright, well, I guess we'll just... I guess we'll just take these guys out. I probably should have waited the entire five minutes to cut that part out. So the captain would have at least had a chance to... get some more spirit essences out of this. No, 
know, that's why I hate this cooldown period. I mean, it really doesn't make sense. Alright, let's pull everybody out of here. Okay, why don't we... You know what, Gan? I'm turning off party AI mode. Because you're just... You just don't know how to conserve your spells, do you? You just think everything in here is just like the, the gravest threat. Alright, so let's recover this trap. And... We were able to recover it, and then we got a sickle called the Reaper's Despair. And now let's pick up all of these treasure bags. All right. Pick all that up. Where the Shadows of the Void came out of. And we'll come over here where these two vampires fell. All right, that should about do it. We'll have to give all those to Sophia later. Now here's another door that's trapped, so let's examine it. Now if you don't have any rogue levels and you've been using Kaji to unlock doors, there's no way you're getting in here. And we set that trap off. That's okay, we'll unlock it. And we were successful. The DC was 45, which is kind of high for a lock. And now we got some, looks like two. Hori, Mummified Priest, looks like Sophia cast Wall of Fire on her. Oh, got dispelled. Okay, there's one more Vampire Ancient in here, so let's go attack this guy. What's wrong with him? Okay, let's turn party AI mode off because I want to devour, or excuse me, I want to do eternal rest on this guy. Looks like Gan did heal on him, which did 150 points of damage. But he's still not down. So, we'll bring everybody in here and... Everybody will attack. I have my eye on where is that me. elemental that Gan summoned? Where, where is it at? Alright, as soon as this guy gets down to... Near death, we're gonna devour... We're gonna do eternal rest. I keep wanting to say devour spirit, but it's actually not. It's eternal rest. Okay, there he goes, so let's press the equal sign and we will give control rest and get two brilliant spirit essences out of it. Very good. Oh, all of a sudden, now I don't have the cooldown period. Now that bug kicked in again. Alright, well, we might as well... Get a shower of the, of the void out here so we can take advantage of not having the cooldown period bug. I don't know what sets off this bug. Oh, and I think I, I've actually counted how many times the shadow of the void uses that. I think it's like polar ray or something like that. He does it, they do it three times. So they must have it three times a day. Because otherwise they would use it a lot more. Because their regular attacks kind of pale in comparison. I think the only one who's vulnerable to that is Sophia. Now we gotta have everybody attack so that we can get it, get his hit points down in a reasonable amount of time. Because since it is a shadow, it does have that stupid 50% miss chance, and we don't have any ghost touch weapons. Yeah. 
Maybe I should do like burning hands or something. Else. Let's try to turn undead, see if that doesn't damage. No, it didn't work. How about a sacred purification? For the crusade. Uh, that really didn't do very much either. Alright, now we're starting to get some good damage on this guy. Looks like I spoke too soon, because now they're missing again. See, this is why battles with these things are just so tedious. It's almost like after you roll your attack roll, then you flip a coin to see if you actually hit. And it looks like we're hitting the bad end of the coin almost every time. But at least he's not doing so much damage to us. In fact, after his polar rays are exhausted, he can't do any damage to us. Our AC is just too high. Come on. We need to get this thing down to near death. Okay, here we go. Now we can finally do eternal rest. Oh, and Sophia leveled up. Well, that's serendipitous. Short sword with a question mark? What is this? Okay, this is what happens if you recover an epic trap. It doesn't know what to do. It must be some other bug. It thinks it's a short sword and then it has a question mark for its icon. Yes. All right, let's combine all the essences that we have. We had quite a few of them. All right. Let's see, I think we got one more. Oh yeah, the one's up there too. Alright, I think that should pretty much do it for right now. For combining essences, so why don't we level her up. And of course it has to be a wizard level, because we don't have the mod where you can pick any class that you want. And then we got two more spells. And it always wants to recommend shape change, and it wants to do greater spell mantle. Now we don't have any level 4 spells, well we hardly have any. Have hardly any level 5 spells as well. But I think some of the most interesting spells are level 6. So we're going to do Greater Heroism. And then... I guess we could do Greater Dispel Magic. Anything else is interesting? Hmm. Let's see, we don't have very many level 8 spells either. No, I'm not really... See, I want to take a level 4 spell, but I, I don't think there's anything here that's worth getting at this point. Yeah, we're going to do Greater Dispel Magic. I mean, maybe it'll come in handy if we don't have the Mordenkainen's Disjunction prepared. Well, we don't have any extra spell slots for level 9 to put it there anyway. 
Alright, so what should we pick? Should we do... Maybe another stone skin, just in case something gets dispelled, we can put it back on the captain. And then for level 7, we'll do this big bees. And level 8, I guess we'll do another sunburst. You know, because we're Step gonna be me. facing Come a lot on. more undead. Yes? Let's grab this treasure bag over here. Oh, and there's a Step treasure chest me. that Come is on. trapped up here. So let's examine this trap. Okay, this is an epic fire trap. But the DC is only 23, so I think we have a chance to recover it as well. And we got it, and we got a successful lore check on an unknown item, and then we get over 4,400 gold pieces, and we got Fingerbone's name. It gives us another short sword with a question mark. Okay, this one is plus 7. It does ghoul fever and it can animate dead five times per day so I think that's a pretty useful weapon it's probably more useful than the rapier plus three that we have right now so if we equip it our attack bonus for our main hand actually goes up because it's a light weapon give those to Sophia so let's assign these to our quick keys accordingly then we'll go to the next page and then we'll put this that's in our offhand over there so that we can do animate dead summon like a skeleton or something and I don't even know what's up with these things it doesn't even show that he's equipped with a short sword I mean but his stats are showing that he is And you know what? Our five minute cooldown period just expires, so we might as well do another Shadow of the Void. Let's take that 8,000 gold and we'll come over here so that his Polar Ray doesn't destroy any other vases. And since we're probably going to be resting up pretty soon, why don't we take him out with something? Why don't you do a wall of fire on him since he won't be moving? And you attack. And. Let's see. Should we do heal on him? damage. Alright, again, I think you're on top of the fire. Target resisted all damage, so we're not even able to damage him at all. So let's put our regular weapons back on. Alright, looks like we're able to damage it pretty well with this wall of fire. Alright, Gan, we want to get you out of this wall of fire. And then we'll just have the captain attack it since it is pretty close to becoming near death. And here it is, so let's devour, or excuse me, let's do eternal rest on it. And there it goes, we get another brilliant spirit essence. And now we have another five minute cooldown period. But yes. by the time the next episode starts, we should be pretty much over with. All right, so let's combine any other essences that we got. And then we'll explore the rest of this vault down here in the next episode. Well, no. Who knows what we're gonna find? What do you want? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. See you next time. Thanks for watching. And Tango Umbuendia.